was out. Time to get this party started. Nice out, 60 some degrees, so I don't know, something like that. We're gonna get some fuel, but this is the day y'all been waiting for. We're gonna load this pig with four cars and you're gonna help. But first, let me get some of this dirty old Petro into this raggy old truck. Loves. this up fill that one up go fill. something's missing now I got it with me just you know when it's ready then I'll put it move it around so let me show y'all little remember I was asking about storage stuff like that I got me an idea see how that worked bet you I can put some shelves in there bet you I can I got my new fenders um, Gotta go pick them up, pay for them. Wait till you see them, they're beauties. So, all right guys, I'm gonna finish filling this up. The dog's already been walked. We just left the Casa. We got a Copart pickup, two Suburbans at a dealership, and then we got a Q7 up in Jersey, and then we're headed out to Chi-Town, Chicago. We'll be there tomorrow. But, let me get this done, get on up the road, and I'll see you. And this here, boys, is why we need a bigger tank. 65, well, 65 gallons, $183. We need a whole a Hunsky. All right, guys, we're up here at the co Park. We're gonna get the first one, which is a Chevy Sonic. And uh, it's supposed to be a run and drive, but we're gonna put it up there on the, the number one position. And uh, put the two Suburbans on them when we get to the last drop. Then we'll rearrange everything. Let's get up here and clean it up. Got to clean it up. Alright guys, I don't like this, but he made me jackknife it. And I guess that's how we're gonna load it. So you seen we loaded them two up. Now we're uh, down here in the heart of Philly. Uh, gonna pick up two more and we're pushing it. I think I can make it on an hour and a half from my other pickup. They close at 5.30, it's two o'clock. Or close at five, I think you said. Um, it's two o'clock now. I'm gonna try to, I'm a mile away, throw them on and just run run up and then uh up there we'll have to rearrange the whole truck which is fine i gotta do it somewhere but i'd rather do it up there once i already have the cars turn left oh uh, we'll turn left on here a mingo and a mingo My truck's bigger than a city block. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. This lady over here, I think she go home. She must know these lines, boy. Turn right. I don't know why 
guy just think he's cutting off on me. Um, with the video. I don't know what's going on. Lefts aren't bad, the rights are brutal. But it's alright, because we's a truck driver. I mean, stuff like this is, and, and I know they don't test, this is where the CDL should come into play. You know, because not everybody can run it down these kind of roads. And a lot of people are even scared to come down, you know. A lot of people are scared to run these. I don't know what the hell she's trying to do. Here she thought she was going to be a park like that. In one quarter mile, turn right. In front of her car so smashed up, I wouldn't want to be nowhere near her. Nowhere near her. Turn right. So y'all can see what's going on back there. Holy shit. Oh boy, Houston, we got a problem. I need to turn in here. One quarter mile, turn right, then turn left. Make a U turn, then turn right. We're just gonna try to come down and then I'm gonna do I can't walk. 
Turn right. When possible, make a U-turn, then turn right. Y'all think I should give driving lessons? What do you think? Who would sign up for the hot shot day ride alone? Hey, gotta get. Maybe I should be scared to leave it here, but I'm not. Got security, right? I'm um, run up here. I think that's mine right there. Or over there. You know what? One day. I can get down there and then back out. If I was facing the other way, I would have just backed in, but I wouldn't want to blindside that, I don't think. We'll come in like this and then we'll just back out. Nothing but a thing. Arriving at destination on right. Alright, so I got the other two on. I couldn't show you guys loading them, but I have to reload, like unload and reload everything. So that's what we're going to do up here in about nine miles. But just figured you'd like to see old dirty Jersey. I know there's a lot, a lot of people that truck and they're scared of this place. Don't know why, but they're scared. But, see all these pieces of metal with four robbers on them? They get brought in and out all day long, son. Now who's going to do it? Somebody got to do it. Somebody has got to do it, so I do it. four slash five car see where I'm at right see what I got I gotta get that on here in traffic got nothing else to do but to do it that is what I have to do right now so we're gonna try something I don't know if it's gonna work I'm gonna try to have both bourbons down here but we'll see what happens Alright guys, so of course, of all times for me to have SD card issues is now. So, I'm going to get these three off, 
and I'll be back explaining to you what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna deal with this in the meantime. All right, guys, so right now what we got is, I just took this back to see if this would work. I have a feeling this is gonna work, so I'm gonna try this in here. Let's make sure that it fit on there, and then that's what I'm gonna do, so I can have as much weight on the trailer as possible, and then those two will be fine up top. So, I don't know if that's gonna fit. We're gonna find out right now. All right, boys and girls, that's what we ended up with right there. We're at 13.4 at our high point. Two Suburbans on the bottom. The reason I loaded it like this is hopefully obvious. Um, lightest weight possible on the drives. But now, one, two, and three. If three is pulled forward, it's going to put weight on the drives. Uh, so that's why it's... Obviously, it's too big to go all the way down, but that's also why it's done that way. Now, what I could have done is I could have put a Suburban in the number one if I had to. But I'm trying to get away from doing that if I can help it. So this is what I got here. And uh, let me take you over here and show you. So they're all strapped. You, you see that there? sometimes that's what you got to do it's not going to hurt them now also short strapped it so what that's going to do right there that's going to stop these this from bouncing up and down i have a good bit of clearance but it is a 2500 suburban so everything else is strapped real good um that's what i got there the back one does have three but that's what we got we're headed to chicago Hopefully we'll be there tomorrow. Back in the day, we'd have made it by morning, but not these days. We got to eat log. So, and I'm gonna show. I'm getting better, guys. I've been here an hour and 16 minutes, um, and it used to be three or four hours. And now, for all you guys that were hating on my fuel uh, setup, I, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you weren't educated enough to realize I was just hauling it, <coughs> and you've seen that there wasn't no hoses coming out. Apparently people didn't see it, people don't understand it or don't know, I don't know. But this is what we got, this is the load. We are gonna scale it out, probably not tonight just to see where we're at ticket wise, but your boy got to roll. Sun's going down, the sun's down. Um, six o'clock, gotta go. Like, share, subscribe, hit that ding ding, and we will see you tomorrow. What a wonderful place for a 42,000 pound truck to stop. Yeah, that's what they told me. Now you see it down and up, but I think we're gonna turn right up here. I don't know, we'll see. Might as well take you all along for the ride. <laughs> no, you're not getting your leash. No. Get back. Stop. You were just out. Here. You want him? You want him? <laughs> Big old baby. Big old baby. Look, you see what's in his mouth, right? I just walked him and we got back in the truck. He ain't done, I guess. Get back. It won't move. Here, stop it. Here. Oh.
you know how much you can see we're going through Jersey so we inside dirty Jersey too inside it boys uh, this thing the trucker's GPS wants me to take 76 across but I'm, uh, I'm just gonna run I-80 all the way across not paying no toll By that you don't make it with a three corner you go buy a bigger one. go buy bigger go buy bigger but guys every section of the industry has its problem jobs you know three cars the problem is you've only got three you know four and five is a problem you got four and five yeah it's just but you gotta like I gotta rearrange them and this and that and like, it's cool. It took me an hour and 19 minutes to pick up all four, you know, unload and reload the whole truck. That's not bad. But this was a really easy load mentally. Um, you know, now if I would have had another SUV, it would not have, probably wouldn't have worked the way it did, but it is what it is. Um, so, before you go out looking to buy this 30, 20, I've seen them now for 23, 25, 20. trailer but I want you to remember that you don't automatically just it's not just new cars you know there's more to it um, you know loading time unloading time finding the cars in the right area you know there's a whole lot that goes into it so if I was talking to anybody I would tell them to hold off until you are almost content with your setup when you feel like you're about maxed out with your setup but earning potential now it's time to move up because you've learned it and you've mastered it so that's the time to move up but Alright guys, that's that. We'll do more of that in a video later, but I'm going to wrap this up. Call wife. Or get ready to put the kids to bed. I will see you on the next one. Peace. I just can't stop videoing this stuff tonight, boys and girls. It's pretty, it is pretty out here. We'll tell you that. Very pretty. But...